Hey, welcome to another episode of the Inspired Musician Podcast, the best place on the internet for where musicians come, learn how to become skillful, and inspire the world with their gifts. Today, we're learning what I call the Blitz Melody. That was going to revive your dead fingers, or it's going to give you that speed that you're always looking for. Um, it's really, really a melody that's going to teach you how to play. It's quite advanced as well, but it's going to make and impress your friends. So, Remember to subscribe to this video and also share it to people who would love to learn how to play. Without further ado, enjoy the video. with the very first chord this chord is actually a C dominant 13th chord we've got the triangle C over here which is your E and your B flat right hand I am playing D E G A and C Okay, now what we do from here is we are going to move chromatically. Okay, we're going to move with our left hand, we're going to move the tritone of C. We're going to move two notes up, a whole note, one, two. Chromatically to the G and the C sharp. Chromatically to the G sharp and the D. And finally, chromatically to the A and the E flat. Okay, so it's E and B flat. We jump two two notes to the C, F sharp and C, G and E C sharp, G sharp and D, and A and D sharp. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Right hand, what we are doing is exactly the same thing. We're playing this chord here, which you could think of this as a... This is a C. You add your 9 and you add your 6. So it's a, it's a C with a C, 6 at the 9 over here. And then we're going to move every single note to tones up, right? A whole tone. Okay, so here you're gonna play the E, you're gonna play the F sharp, you're gonna play the G, I mean the A, the B, and the D. So coming from here, right? This is the D6 at 9. Then we move up chromatically get my bearings right here that's the F G B flat C and E flat we move up chromatically again that's going to be your F sharp G sharp B C sharp and E and finally, we move up chromatically for the last time. Which is your G, your A, your C, your D, and your F. Okay, so starting from this chord, remember the first move is whole step. Then you move chromatically. Ok, 
Okay, now we're gonna do it with both hands, okay? So it's one, two, three, four. Okay? From this chord, your right is going to have a movement starting on your G, G to the G sharp to the A, right? Thumb, index thumb. Then you're going to hit with that F over here. Right? Then from here, you're going to hit. So it's G, G sharp A to that F. And then you're gonna play like an E flat major chord, right? Although you don't need to play that. And then you're gonna play a B flat major chord, even though you don't need to play that B flat. So it would just can sound like that. Okay. Left hand, when you play that movement, you'll be sitting here. Okay? Once you hit this B, your left hand goes from this note here, which is your D, G sharp, and C sharp. And you move from this three notes, everything moves up chromatically. So this goes to E flat, this goes to A, and this goes to D. This is the tritone of E, and this is the tritone of F. Right? So it would sound. Right? Once I play this chord, my movement with right is I start improvising. You play the G to the to the F, then you go to your E flat, then you go to your C, then you go to your A, then you go to your G, then you go to your F, then you go to your D, then you go to your C, and then you go to your A. So it's like playing pentatonic scale of F, right? Your F. Okay, except that you're gonna start on your G to your F to your E flat, right? G F E flat C, and then going down you go into your pentatonic F, pentatonic major A G F D C and A. Right, so it would sound okay. Okay, so let's take from what we have so far. Okay. Then we continue with that movement again. Left hand is gonna play the two tritones, and then you play again from the G to the G sharp to the A. Okay, and then we have a, another movement both with left and right. So I'm gonna start with your my right hand. Right, you're gonna go from, you're gonna move chromatically from the G to the B. Right, so it's gonna G, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. Once you get to your B, you go back, B flat, to the A, and to the B flat again, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, Then from this B flat we go to your 
your G, right? From my G to my F to my E flat and to my G again, okay? So from here, I'll be coming from my chromatic movement then I stretch to that G, to the F, to the E flat, and to the G. Okay, so let's play it a bit faster. Last time. Okay, so left hand will be playing four type four chords. First we'll be playing this chord over here, which is G sharp major 7, E flat, G, G sharp, and C. From here we're going to the next chord. This is a diminished chord, your D diminished chord. So we're playing your D, your F, your G sharp. Your B and back to your D. Your major seven. Okay. So it's your major seven. One. Your D to minus seven. Two. Then the third chord. You're playing your F, which is octaves with the C in between. Okay. And then you're going from your F. This chord here, which is the tritone of F sharp, with adding your E flat over here. So it's your E, your B flat, and your E flat. Okay. So let's do those four chords again. One, diminished seven. That's my two. F octaves. That's three. And four for the tone of F sharp, right? So it's one, two, three, four. Okay? And then finally, we're going to walk back down. Okay? From this chord, which is a diminished seven, we're going to move to this diminished seven that we played earlier. This, I mean, this uh, tritone that we played earlier which is your D, G sharp, and C sharp, and then chromatically to your E flat, A, and D, okay? So last time the chords. All right, so with the right hand, the timing here is pretty um, crucial so let's work through this nice and slow when you walk when you're moving up chromatically the minute you press this G you're gonna hold your first chord with your right hand okay so the G major 7 G sharp major 7 okay so once I hit this G okay three, four. once I come to this B over here of my right I play my second chord. Okay, take that again. Okay, then from the B flat, right hand, remember we go to the G. And once I hit that G, left hand, I'm playing the F octaves. And I'm going to my G to my F to my E flat. After I hit my E flat, I'm playing the tritone of F sharp to the E flat to the left hand tritone. Then I hit my G from the E flat. I'm going to my G, and from here I play this movement of tritone of E tritone of F. Okay. I'm gonna play it together slowly but in time. So let's 
let's speed it up a little bit. Okay, so let's take it from the top. Let's hear what we have so far. Okay, so we have that movement. Um, and again, if you're still finding it a bit challenging to get it, you can just rewind the video and uh, take it slow until you get the timing. And also make sure that you get it slow before you get it fast. If you're struggling to get the movement fast, you need to make sure that you slow down, press pause, play it, practice it again, do it slow, then you can speed it up. Okay, let's move on. From here, we move with that movement again with your right hand to the G, to the G sharp A, to the F. So from here, it's G to the G sharp, to the A, to the F, and then we go to the B fl E flat, and then E flat again, we play it twice to the C. And then we do a, a pattern where you're going to be using your two thumbs, your thumb and your index and your pinky, right? Where it goes, it sounds. And what I'm doing there is I'm going, my thumb is hitting the G, my index is hitting my G sharp, my thumb is hitting my A, and my pinky hits my F, okay? This part we already know. Then once I hit this F, my thumb goes back down chromatically. So it's the A to the G sharp and to the G. Once I hit that G, my pinky hits that E, e flat. Okay, so it's. And then. Once I hit that E flat, my pinky, my G goes down chromatically again for two semitones. G, G flat, and F. Once I hit that F, I hit this D with my pinky. Okay? And then once I hit this D with my pinky, my thumb goes to the E. My index goes to my E flat and my pinky hits this E, this C. Okay, so let's see how we got the pattern. Last time. Alright, so it's a pattern that you're gonna put in there. So from the top we'll be coming from tone again and we continue with the continue the original movement and then from here left hand is gonna play the same melody again which is G sharp major seven D minor D diminished major major seven the F octaves and the tritone of F so And with the right hand, we're going to be playing chords, okay? So, as well, along with the left hand. So you're going to be playing... You say it's a, it's a suspended 4 of C, but you're playing that F, the G, and that C. 
right? Um, what I like to do is I like to jump off the F onto that G. This G hits the C as well. Okay, so that's the first chord. The second chord we're looking at is you are playing the F, the B flat, and the C. You could say it's, the suspe it's an F suspended 4. Okay? Um, so the first chord is the C suspended 4 going into the F suspended 4. And again, I like to jump off that B flat into that C. So it's. So this first chord, we're going to play with the G, G sharp major chord. The second chord, we're going to play with the diminished chord here. And then the third chord, we're going to, what I play with my left hand, I'm going to mirror it with my right hand. Okay? So, le left hand I'm playing F, C and F. So, right hand I'm going to play F, C and F as well. Right? Obviously, these two are sharing, so you can decide which finger you want. To press. And the fourth chord, again, I'm playing that tritone with my left hand, tritone of F. So, you mirror the same chord with my right hand. Okay, so let's do that those chord movements. One, two, three, Top of part two. this video i hope you found it really valuable if you did please subscribe to this channel follow us on mukhale music we are on facebook instagram youtube mukhale music and if you really really are serious and want to take your playing to the next level check out this training the link is down below it's an amazing training if you're really serious check it out and i'm going to show you exactly how i went from zero to really getting really skillful it's something brand new and never shown anyway so follow the link below and i will see you on the next